the teacher is the greatest student in a sense. So the one who needs to teach actually needs to really understand the topic really well. So they are the greatest student right. because they're learning it in order to teach it, you know? So the whole purpose of learning anything is really, if we go into it with the mindset of teaching it to somebody else, so we really take on and we hold on to this education, you know, and, and I really, I really appreciated when you said that and just like popped into my mind, like and just also because we're reading it right now. So it's still fresh in my mind right now, but, uh, but and where you said that it, it really aligned. I love that. Well, and learning for me is a verb, right? It's mm -hmm. not, you know, a destination where it's like, oh, I'm learning this to have the knowledge, right? It's really yeah. more about the process of learning. And I think that when we can become really stellar learners, right, students, right. Um, there's something that we're opening ourselves up to. And again, we have to remain curious in order to be great learners, you know. So I think that curiosity factor is really a big part of it because it's always <coughs> having us ask, you know, higher level, hopefully higher level questions. And I know in my personal life, I was, you know, constantly asked, you know, when is it going to be enough? Like, in other mm -hmm. words, when are you going to stop asking why or when are you going to stop, right. you know, asking? but also when is it going to be enough? And, you know, and I often felt that depending on who was asking and kind of their demeanor, <laughs> what they think they meant, you know, is, is that, well, well, it's not that it isn't good enough or, or the information being told to me isn't enough. It's that there's always something more, you know, it's, it's like the peeling of the onion. And I think that oftentimes I know visionaries struggle with this. It's like, because, you know, it's always the next. Mm -hmm. That Oftentimes I think there can be that misunderstanding that it's not enough. And, and like, when are you just going to be happy with what you have or what? And it's never right. a question of right. that. It's always yeah. a question of, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I want to know more about it. Right. Mm -hmm. I want to, to know, and I want to know how to work with it. And of course, through working with it and understanding it, something else comes in. So it's that constant funnel of being open to what's meant to meet us next. And so many people, because we have been conditioned to that, but if you don't have this credential, you can't get through, through that door. Right. You don't right. have this experience, you don't belong there. Um, or whatever that is, or if you don't have this understanding, you have no right to have an opinion or have something to say. That's mm. fear has been conditioned into us, right? We've been yeah. you know, enculturated with that. It is not a natural trait. It's not a natural way of being for us as humans. And I think that's the biggest thing I have to teach people is giving them the permission, hmm. to ask the questions, say the things. I mean, obviously effective communication is huge in leadership. So there's a lot sure. about that. Um, you were talking about assumptions, the top three things I talk about in most ineffective approaches to leadership. <laughs> Right. Sure. It's having an agenda and an assumption when you go in, into an engagement. Wow. Right? 